Hey everyone, welcome to another tutorial. This time we're going to be making Olaf. You guys probably saw that in the description. So here I have a picture of Olaf. I'm going to be designing them in Tinkercad. And yeah, that should be pretty easy. Let's get started here. So I'm going to open up Tinkercad. Looking at the work plane, of course I like to start from the bottom. So I'm going to start with his feet. Just going to use some cylinders. Might add some bevels. I think it kind of looks a little bit cool when you add a little bit of bevels. And we'll turn that white. Let's add in his uh, body. And I like, um, actually I don't like that one. I'm going to go to characters on the side. Let's do egg. I like egg instead. Because egg has a um, wider bottom than the sphere does. So squish that. That's going to be his kind of main body. And it kind of looks more like Olaf. Again, referring back to the photo as always. And then just kind of positioning it, sizing it, holding shift, and sizing that appropriately. We'll make the other leg control C, control V. Because we don't want to. And if we need to, we'll make sure that they're about the the same. Raise that up, hide hide a little bit of the uh, foot inside if we need to. We can also grow it to the side, and there we go. Let's do let's do another button, or let's do another um, body. I think I think for this one, yeah, we'll use sphere. We can use um, sphere. I think this one's a little bit, and we'll grow that as well. Again, I'm holding shift and clicking, we'll color it white, and then we'll create his little black buttons or rocks. Just going to use some spheres, nothing too fancy. Uh, you can use a different shape, that's totally great. Maybe even like uh, Isos, that would kind of look like a rock, but I don't think you have to. I think that one looks really great. So he has one button. And then we'll duplicate and repeat. And we'll move this one up. Let's move this back and then duplicate, repeat. There we go. Just like that. So we have his uh, body. And then let's kind of center that up a little bit better. You know, let's start with his uh, head. So we're going to start with his head. Um, I think a couple of different shapes will kind of make his uh, his head. So let's use a paraboloid and then flip it upside down. So I'm going to click the mirror, flip that upside down. And it's not quite white, so let's make sure it's white. And we'll grow. And we'll make that a little bit. Uh, skinnier. That's going to be kind of his um, his neck. And then, as you can see, it kind of rounds up, rounds off. So let's duplicate and repeat. Move this up a little bit mirror. And then we'll move that. And then let's squish it. Uh, it kind of works, kind of Let's see if I like it. it. It it gives it. It's pretty close. I think if we add um, a sphere to the top, and we might not need the other probably now that I'm looking at it. And then let's go back to our reference photo. It does kind of curve up a little bit as maybe we can maybe we can stretch that just a little bit and maybe make it a little bit say smaller. You know, I I think I'm just gonna get rid of that one and then we'll just have this um, sphere clip through because I like that look better. There we go. But you can do it however you want. I think that's 
pretty close to how I want it. So I'm gonna make another one. Let's make he had he kind of has like um uh his mouth comes out like kind of far. So you can see here, kind of comes out. He has a little bit of a smile. We can maybe try to include that. And I'm just going to make sure that uh, it's centered. And if we need to add kind of his um, cheek area, we can add another one right about. That looks pretty good, and we'll see how it turns out, if I like it or not. I'm going to, again, just double check, make sure everything's kind of um, centered. So if we need to, we'll center that. So I'm looking at this line right here, center up everything. It looks a lot better when things are centered. Let's do his uh, mouth, and we're going to flip I'm going to move this up like so. Let's mirror this. Let's turn this into a hole. And actually, let's let's make sure we group our head together. We want to group. And then we'll make a uh, we'll make a little cut. I think like uh, might want to have his mouth open. He's oftentimes depicted as smiling. So this is a great way of doing that. And we'll size this appropriately, making sure that the important thing is um, that everything's kind of even on both sides. So I'm zooming in, and I think I like that. Let's try grouping that. There we go. Hmm. I don't like that actually. Let's let's do let's stretch that out. Let's stretch this out over here and group and see how I like it. That looks pretty good. That looks really good. Much better. We can add his tooth. So it's just going to take a uh, rectangle. Let's color it white. He has like one tooth right here. I don't even call it tooth. Maybe it's like a a square snowball. Anyway, let's add that tooth and size it appropriately. About right there. That looks really good. Awesome. Okay, so let's do his um, eyes. And we're just going to use a sphere. Simple, you know. Try to keep things simple. No need to uh, look for shapes that are really difficult. And so we can add the white part, and we'll do the black part. So we'll make this um, white. Duplicate. Kind of make this black, so we can see it better. Right there, I like that. That looks really good. So I'm going to group. When I group, it's going to turn one color. So you get the colors back. It's quite simple. Just hit multi color, control C, control V. And then we'll look at that. We'll center the eyes. That looks good. And then let's do his uh, nose. Oh, wrong page. It's on page um, 16. It's called New Banana. You might even eh, you can also use pineapple. You know what? Let's use let's use pineapple instead. I'm using banana a lot. I think I like the pineapple. And then we'll just go ahead and stick that right between the eyes. It's about right there. Just. Double check the image to uh, make sure the um, size and position about right there. Let's turn that orange. It's starting to come together. All right. So we can do his. I think I'm going to not do his eyebrows. I think it's just 
not necessary. We can if you want to. Uh, but let's do these little hairs and his arms. They're going to be uh, most of the same shape. So let's grab, let's see, tree. Hmm. Or you can try this tree. I think I like uh, the other tree. This blue tree works. Looks better. So let's increase the size. Uh, maybe increase the. Um, and then randomizer. Oh. There we go. I think that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good for um, his hair. We can let's reduce that length. Um, if you wanted to use this for printing, um, it would probably break 3D printing. But uh, let's just try this. And see how you like it. You can probably use cylinders if you don't like. Uh, like I, I think I like kind of like the look of that. Definitely for. If you want to use it for his arms, I think it also look really good for his arms. Yeah, why won't you turn? So again, I'm just kind of changing my view, rotating the arm appropriately. I'm going to make one. I always make one arm at a time. That looks pretty good. It looks like he has one. He has four fingers. Also, I wonder if I can. Add another finger. Yeah, let's try that. I think I'm not I'm not happy with this shape actually. I think I'm gonna try coral. So let's use coral. Let's inclination 90 degrees. And let's turn the randomizer down. Number of branches, let's turn this way down. Okay. Oh, where do you go? Disappear on me. Where did he go? That's weird. Alright, let's grab another one. And oh, there they came back. That's so weird. I think it has like um some trouble processing. Oh, come on back. I think the uh, processor is having an issue with the this particular shape. But I think this one is going to give us the shape we want for sure. Just going to Come on. A lot of processing, I guess. Um, let's just type in three and try that out. Um, okay. Whoa. Too many. Let's do one. And let it kind of load. Ah, oh, man. Oh. Man. All right. Let's type in two. I don't know why it's not cooperating right now. All right, well, let's go back to the tree. Yeah, I think it's a little bit too much to process right now. Not sure why. Maybe we can look into it. And then let's see. Um, radius. Definitely want that radius higher. And whatever we do to one side, we gotta make sure we do to the other side. Otherwise, he's gonna have one thick arm and one not so thick arm. It's gonna look pretty good for uh, 3D printing. And let's turn. There we go. Same thing. There we go. That looks like a really good arm. And I think that's going to be it for this video. So 
Uh, actually, I'm going to fix this button over here. And I want to kind of line them up to the center. Move this up slightly. There we go. I think that looks really good. It's not bad. And so definitely check out my other videos. I'm going to be posting more. Uh, and join our um, live class. There's a link in the description below. So I will see you guys in the next video.